A reflection is a transformation that mirrors space across a line, like reflecting your image in a mirror. If we reflect across the x-axis, any point above the line gets mapped to a corresponding point below the line at the same distance, and the perpendicular distance from the point to the mirror line is preserved. Also, reflections preserve distance and angles just like rotations do. But there is a crucial difference. Reflections reverse orientation, meaning that if you trace around the shape counterclockwise before reflection, you will trace around its mirror image clockwise afterward. To understand the matrix for reflection across the x-axis, let's see where our basis vectors go. The vector i, which lies along the x-axis, stays exactly where it is because it's on the mirror line, so it maps to 1 and 0. But the j, which points up along the y-axis, gets flipped down to a point in the negative y-directions, so it maps to 0 and negative 1. The reflection matrix is simply these two column vectors, 1 and 0 for where i lands and 0 and negative 1 for where j lands giving us the matrix with 1 and 0 in the first row and 0 and negative 1 in the second row. 